Welcome back to another episode of Rusted Rides. Here we have a 1970 Dodge Challenger that has been seriously hacked up and desperately needs someone to make it right. So let's get into it. With the car in the shop, we got straight to work removing the fenders as they had been butchered and patched and were not savable as the work needed would have taken more time and money than just replacing them. You will also notice that we have Katie in this video doing a bunch of work as Cam has hired her for the summer to help out around the shop. The hood also had to come off as there is structural stuff that needs to be repaired on the front end and we needed full access to do it. We then started stripping paint off the roof and it was coming off way too easy. All that was needed was a plastic body fill spreader. Okay, this has already changed Quite a bit from what it was yeah. when I was here the other day. Why don't you explain? Why don't you explain what's happened so far? Well, what has happened is I am now I am the fourth guy, fourth body guy to get my hands on this car. And the first guy that this gentleman took the car to, he gave a ten thousand dollar deposit. He never heard from the guy for eight weeks, and he called him up and said, "I need another ten thousand dollars." And he said, "Well, I want to see what you've been doing." So he went to look at it in this is what he had done. Look right at here. how bad these patches are and these welds. And like, look at this. Yeah, he, just... he ground out an inch of body fill just to get at it. Look at that. I don't know what direction they're headed in for that. It's just so bad. All of this work. There's 10 grand, gone. Jeez. And so at that point, the guy was like, nah, I'm taking the car back? Yeah, it was, uh, more or less, I would say at this point he was out. He was out ten thousand dollars, and he did not give him any more. And he picked the car up and he sent it to the second guy. Same thing. The big deposit. He did very crappy, horrible work, and he picked the car up because the guy wanted more money, and there was no progress. Yeah. So the third guy, he started doing all the structure. He had all new floors, all new frame rails. He, for some reason, he, he cut a hole in there. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not going to say he did amazing work, but he didn't do awful work. Okay. So he was given a big deposit to get the car underway, and then he died. Oh. So he had to pick the car up again. He was out another big, big chunk of money. And uh, now here it sits. So who do you think turned the car into a rainbow? And why don't you explain that situation? <laughs> Okay, so, so the third the third gentleman before me, the one who fortunately passed away, he cut the whole car out, everything. All the brackets, all the braces, all the floors, he turned it into a tin can, but he didn't brace the car. And he had it up on a hoist, and they left this big heavy 440 big block hanging in the front end with no bracing, no frame rails connecting it, and now, the front end is pointed down at the ground. You can see right here where this is pulling off. So now you go to put a fender on, you somewhat line the fender up with that door. There's like a, there's a one inch gap where it's supposed to bolt to the rad cradle up here. It's tight up here. And they welded it, they, they put everything back in. They let the front end relax on it because they didn't, they didn't support the front end of the car with this big heavy motor in it. And then they welded the, fr the, the front frame rails all back in. So now it's stuck that way. So, so that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, so before I could align the fenders or go too much further, I got to go underneath. I got to re. I got to cut the, uh, the backs of the frame rails out, support everything, and I got to find a way to manipulate the front end back straight on it. Yeah. So that that'll be the worst part of this project. 
Yeah, no I kidding. I've seen, I've had my, uh, my new employee doing most of the work while I'm doing other stuff. I'm feeling just seeing if it needs a roof skin. Yeah, look at this. This is so much better than the charger. So she, she took this all down to bare metal yesterday. I got the rear quarters coming. We're gonna do the full factory replacements because I cannot, I cannot work with that. No, that's heinous. No. That work down there was yeah, so bad. I don't know what direction they were headed in with that one, so. So it's gonna get a couple new, uh, couple new pieces of metal, new skins here and there. Yeah. It's already got a new hood. No, yeah. Oh, the hood's good. The hood's, the hood's good. But it's got a new deck lid. It's getting new fenders, new quarters. It's gonna be a nice looking car when it's done. Yeah, going purple. Yep, plum crazy. But there's a lot to do here, so. Yeah, this will be a doozy. I guess we should just get back to the, uh, back to the work then. The roof was taken back to bare metal and the hood got some paint stripper applied, which makes for some awesome time lapse. The rear quarters were cut out with extra caution to avoid breathing in any of the lead which was used to hide the seam of the roof. Well, what do you think? There's a lot of car missing now, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Um, kind of crazy how much of this car has been cut out and been replaced, and, uh, and we're not done yet. No. So, a uh, little bit unconventional what I do when doing these rear quarters. Um, like a lot of people, you see, they'll drill out all the spot welds and they'll just take it all off in one piece. This one here, it was like a rear quarter, welded over a rear quarter, and then patches welded over that rear quarter. Like nice. it had been patched so many times, they had welds all over, so that wasn't gonna work. So what I've done is I just go around, I cut the majority of it all out, just get, get it out of my way. So then I could just go along and I can, I can peel all this off as I go. I'd, uh, I'd Katie drill out all these spot welds. Mm -hmm. So we'll, I'll just go along, I'll chisel out all this. This inner structure, that's part of the new one. So and then I got I got to get up in here. There's uh, the strip is still underneath the roof. Oh yeah. But yeah. It, so uh, and then you're ending up with something like this. So you basically come back around and like remove that. Wow, this. <laughs> That's very manual. There, but. there was not pinch welds on this. I don't know what was going on. You know, but like, generally, you so you cut out the you cut out the bulk of it so that you're left with just like a, a lip that you got to remove. Yeah, like, like you know, like like I explained, I think I'm the third I'm the third guy to get the car, and he had to keep picking it up from shops because he would see stuff like this. <laughs> you know, you can't you can't just drill these out and pull it off. So that's why I had to cut the whole thing out with a grinder first, and then I got to go around. I got to remove all this because huh. you come over to the uh, the old one. Oh, watch your step. Oh, the shop is such a mess. There we go. Look at oh, all the layers. Wow, eh? Look at that. Yeah, it's been patched and put together so many times that, you know, you just, I don't know what's going on with it. Wow. She's gone now. Patch, patch, third patch. Yeah. So just simply drilling the spot while it isn't going to do the trick. No kidding. Yeah. Right on. Where'd my helper go? I'm gonna get her to clean she, the shop. I think up. she went for <laughs> coffee, actually. Ah, okay. She does not need to clean the shop. Yeah, she can clean. The shop after she gets coffee, I guess. All right, Alrighty so well. I guess we continue on. Yeah, we'll keep hammering and chiseling. Okay. And hopefully soon this will be intact. <laughs>
All right, so some of the inner structure behind the quarter is like Swiss cheese rust situation. So Cam's gonna start cutting out some of that and uh, and welding in some patches just to make sure that what we're putting, what we're leaving behind is uh, is actually in good shape. As you can see, some rust holes, rust holes, and some rust. You should fill it with lead. Can you imagine? Just, what do you think? <laughs> She's scared of the camera. She doesn't <laughs> want to be interviewed. All right, so Cam's been working hard. I've been helping, but uh, anyway, Cam's been doing a lot of great work here. So let's let's take a look at what we got. This is looking so good. That whole reconstruction there, all that patching. But then what we've been working on is we were separating this. We were separating all the uh, the spot welds. And Cam pulled all this off along here. We were working on this one together because that was that was a bit tough to get underneath there. And then this is done. It's just here. Just have to get this separated and then we can probably start fitting on the rear quarter. So let's get to it. Well, that's still a long ways, but uh, it's not bad for a first fit, eh? Yeah, three pairs of vice grips, and it's it's not too shabby. A few things that we got to be adjusted, like this door gap here. It's got to come up. The whole quarter's got to come up, like I don't know, not quite half an inch, but some. It's quite involved, isn't it? Yeah, that was like, what was the biggest pain in the butt? You would, I would say, I would say it was here. Getting that inner layer off the inside of the roof. Yeah, that was a real pain. There's just been so many people mutilating the, this poor roof to death, right? And then like the pinch well, oh, sorry, the, the, um, the spot welds on the door uh, jam there. This wasn't so bad though. This one actually is not so bad. Oh, there's a vice grip in the way. I want to set the deck lid on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, if we should definitely... Oh, this slid. This oh, slid. oh, yeah, she moved, eh? We'll deal with that. I'm not leading this again. There's no way. This yeah. stuff's toxic. Yeah. All right, so that's that's good. I guess, uh, yeah, next step would be making some adjustments. Yeah. Just keep bending and prodding it. Okay.
So uh, as you can see, uh, Bo has been very busy and he put this entire car together. Let's take a look here. Look at that. Did you do all that? We forgot to mic yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. Get him a wire. He didn't do that, but he, you like the way it looks? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's show everybody else. All right. It's, uh, it's not pretty or perfect, but it's, oh. uh, it's definitely, um, it's mocked oh. up. I'm, I'm just cursing every single person that has had their hands in this project. I mean, this would have went a lot quicker and we might've been able to get more into this video as if everything that everyone else had, has done knew what they were doing. Yeah. If we you were know? just hacking away the rust and putting stuff in ourselves, it would have been fine. But we've got other people who have put panels in here and that did not fit them properly. And now we got to work around that. Fit? You can't even use the term fit. <laughs> no. I, I swear some of it is upside down and, and backwards. Yeah. But it's also a it's million coming. degrees outside oh, yeah. and in dying. here. I don't normally dress so trashy, but I was just dying today and then our air conditioner broke. So yeah. Well, I mean, it would be fine. Understandable that it's not working. <laughs> <But> <laughs> so, okay, we have uh, this body line is looking not awful. It's better than it was. So you've definitely uh, played with this after I left, eh? And you got yeah, this. Yeah, everything's just kind of clamped. Well, that side's welded. This is just, there's a few tacks on it. Yeah. But we're still fitting everything. I hung the fenders. There's two bolts in each one. Yeah. Just to see how everything's flowing. Okay. It's not looking terrible. Not terrible. This not back here is still going to take some, some messing around. Yeah, I don't know. I've been doing research. I've been going to car shows and looking at other ones. I don't know if this goes in behind the rear quarter or if it goes on the front. Some of them, this lip goes on the front, or I guess the back, or it would be the back. This or in the behind. Back of the car. Yeah. Right, but it goes okay, let's say behind in behind. The, yeah, in behind. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if this goes in behind or on the face of it. Yeah. They're all different. Yeah, what do you think? It seems to fit better on the outside. Looks good. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, it's coming together. This side's looking great. Um, this door, did you mess with this door hinge? Because it's looking like it's sitting better. No. 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 The door's got to come off. Okay. So you just have it probably propped it's up horrible. a little bit. It's horrible. Oh, yeah. If you look over here, the gap is like... It's not closed tight. But no, but even still, it's were to close tight. I was still... just focusing on just the back section of yeah. the car for this video. Right so. so, I mean, we should just fire it up soon. <laughs> yeah. but it's got a long ways to go so there you go the car is roughly mocked up it's got to all come back apart so that we can finish it um, properly and then paint everything but we just need to make sure everything fits yep wanna wanna help make this guy's dream a reality yeah too yeah. bad everybody before me horribly failed at that so <laughs> we'll get it straightened out yeah all right, so that's it for this episode, uh, part one of the 70 Challenger. We'll have to have more because this is going to be a, a bit of a project. I mean, we might finish it in the next one. Nope. No? So it might be nope. a part two, there might be a part three. But uh, we're trying to keep these videos rolling and we're trying to put a lot into these videos, but sometimes that's why the videos get a little delayed. But it's a car. It looks like a car again. So we'll keep at it. You, get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> me. See you next time. Before we uh, finish this interview, is the audio on? The audio is on. The audio, I don't have to check. No, it's good. <laughs> All right. All right. It's, the, blah, blah, blah. it's actually uh, it's the old lady's younger sister. She asked me what I had her doing when I said I had her stripping for me. Probably could have found another way to word that, but uh, <laughs> she'll, get, she'll get over it. Video is recording. Dun da da da. Hello? Hey, not too much. One of my fire captains is asking about a call. And, uh, oh, I'm still recording. <laughs>